Good afternoon guys, I'm back here to show you my third meal of the day. It's really simple, really, really basic, just two food ingredients, food items. Uh, I have white potato and I have chicken breast. Gonna do 400 grams of white potato, it's a lot of carbs. And gonna do 113 grams of chicken breast. Um, I already pre-cooked the chicken breast, already seasoned and everything. I'm going to warm it up at the tail end of baking these potatoes. But other than that, guys, really minimal prep time for this. Uh, might take, I don't know, 15. The oven's preheating right now. It might take, I don't know, 15 minutes for the, the, the potatoes to bake. And what I'm going to do um, as I prep for those, you know, I was trying to think, do I want to mash them? Do I want to have a baked potato? Do I want to um, do some, like string like cut them up like fries what do I want to do uh, what I'm going to do this first round because um, meal four is going to contain a lot of potatoes as well but what I'm going to do for meal number three right now is cut them up into you know these medallions if, if you will you know just cut them up into these coins and I'm going to just throw them on I'm not going to oil them I'm not going to do anything um, super crazy because that won't fit into my my macro split for the day but I'm just going to cut them in Cut them up and, um, and I'm going to season them. So give me a second while I cut these. I mean, I need like laser focus when I'm cutting these potatoes because last time I tried to do this, it nearly took off my fingers. So bear with me here. I like to get them pretty thin because when they bake, they get nice and crunchy and, you know, Makes it a lot better. I always like a little crunch factor in there. Uh, when it gets down to the little bit of potato, that's when it's dangerous. Potatoes all crooked and come on. Woo! See, you see what I mean? Oh, geez. Gonna have to cut this video short and go to the hospital if I'm not careful. Oh my gosh. That's a close one. All right. I'm probably not using the best knife either. It's it's jagged. It's not a straight edge, which I don't know why I grabbed this, but whatever. It looks cool. I'm going to push them in close together so when I season them, not wasting a bunch of seasoning. What do I have for seasoning? Garlic. Probably my favorite seasoning right there. Put it on everything. It's one of those superfoods, guys. If you enjoy the taste of garlic, or even if you don't, I'd, I'd strongly urge you to throw it into the arsenal. Next up, I just got a organic, like, Mediterranean seasoning. No salt in it, though. This week is really important in terms of manipulating water, carbs, and salt. Salt was pretty high last week, but throughout this entire one week out, you want very minimal salt. It's going to help flush out any water that you're holding. Now what I have here is just some black pepper. Give it a little more flavor, a little more pizzazz. And there we go. Shake it around a little bit. You're going. All right, we're going. Oven is preheated now. Perfect timing. While wow, that's going, I'm going to measure out my chicken. I'm going to do 113 grams of chicken breast here. Got it. So, that's that. 142 grams, or 113, 142 with the plate that I'm measuring it on. So, real simple guys, not a whole lot of chicken, but that's alright. Getting a whole lot of carbs in me. So that's that. As these cook, guys, um, I'm just going to clean up, and once those are done, I'll, I'll touch base with you and show you what we got. So, talk to you soon. All right, guys. Potatoes, chicken are done. Let's check it out. See how they're coming along. So we can eat. Turn off the oven here. Oh, yeah. Smell that. I mean, they actually look pretty much the same, as you can see. Potatoes, the chicken, it looks exactly the same, but 
It's going to taste beautiful. Might get a little stickage to the pan since we didn't use any oil. That's all right. Scrape away. Another thing to add, guys, it's going to be really tempting to slather these in in ketchup and barbecue sauce and whatever it is you like, but can't do that. Can't do that. You know, my entire prep, my 13-week prep, I stay away from ketchup, stay away from barbecue sauce, ranch, all those, those dressings that we all love. Reason being is that they all contain... For the most part, a uh, large amount of high fructose corn syrup, you know, sugar, we don't need that crap. And if you're talking about ranch and stuff, there's a lot of fat, so um, we just stay away. My condiment of choice, though, throughout my prep is mustard. No calories, no sugars, and um, there's a little bit of sodium in it, but nothing uh, of great significance, nothing that's going to make a huge difference. Um, a majority of the time. So, here we are. Time to dig in, guys. Thanks for watching. Two, two and a half more hours. Tune in, and I'll show you my fourth meal. And that's probably going to be the last meal I'll be able to show you guys today. As I said, I've got that date tonight, so um, we got to do that. But hey, that's life, right? So, time you soon.